What's going on guys? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi, and today we're going to be viewing this 2024 Forest River Wildwood model number 29 view. And if you can't tell by now, the view was coming from the over 105 square feet of windows found just on the campsite of Coach Alone. If you're new here, I'd welcome you to the channel and let's get started. So this thing is extremely interesting. It looks like kind of a rear kitchen, maybe a rear entertainment layout because of all the windows, the way they got them positioned all in the back, but it's actually a two bedroom layout. It's kind of a hid room, which keeps the attentions of a lot of kids. Sleeping on board for probably four, maybe five individuals comfortably, but it is kind of big. It doesn't look like it probably from the video, but let's look at some of the numbers. So gross vehicle weight rating is 9,810 pounds. You're riding on 4,400 pound axles, E-rated tires. You've got 1,485 pounds of available cargo capacity. You're at 34 feet, 10 inches of total length. That's from tip to tip. And you are a dry weight of currently 8,287 pounds. So that's as it sits, minus the propane tanks being filled, minus the battery being installed, so it is very, very heavy. I'd recommend towing this thing with at least a three quarter ton. A lot of windows, 105 square feet of windows just on the camp side of the coach alone. This is part of the View series. There's several different ones that this brand has come out with that is just loaded with windows. So let's get you inside model 29 View. But I figured we start all the way in the back and then make our way towards the front. This is, it is a two bedroom layout, but it kind of looks more like a rear kitchen. There is, I promise, a second bedroom in this RV somewhere. Let's make our way all the way to the back. So over 34 feet in length with this really amazing rear kitchen layout, solid surface countertops. This model when it first came out had like a little flip up island here. They've gone ahead and made this whole entire part of the counter just permanently in place. However, since they've done that now, you kind of don't have room for both of the stools. When the countertop would flip up, this was not here, so now it's kind of in the way, and it really does limit you with being able to actually get all the stools in place. Lots of storage though, two more additional stools here, but look at the windows. This is why they call this thing the view. Let's let me step back and show you over all 105 square feet of windows found on the campsite of coach. That's just truly amazing to me new versa lounge this opens up to about the size of a full-size bed it flips down here but realistically look at the length of this thing it's going to definitely be a little bit bigger than that let's go over your kitchen i felt like i failed to touch on a lot of the appliances let me come in here and get situated better this way pretty much your standard magic chef oven with three different burners on the top pretty compact microwave you got the 50-50 split sink with a residential faucet there and plus some different drawers. I honestly don't know why they have a, a door here. If this is just a regular pull out, it kind of just, I feel like would be work just as well without the door on top of the drawer. What do you guys think? Overall though, the kitchen's very nice. It, it seems to flow very, very nicely, except for this. I'm not understanding why so many bar stools now since that has been changed. Located right over here to the left, this is your one slide on board. So look at the depth of this thing. Typically you get like 36, maybe 42 inches of depth, but it looks like they've brought a lot of the slide now inside. And that is gonna be your second bedroom on board the RV. Truly amazing how they've taken the overall design of a travel trailer and thought about doing something like this. Kind of amazing. 12 volt fridge. This is gonna be your pantry but a lot of storage on board the RV. So this is gonna be your view while sitting at the Versa Lounge. You can maybe mount a pretty good sized TV on the wall there, lots of additional storage all the way around the TV. So either books, CDs, or maybe even use it for like an overflow pantry. Kind of looks like maybe there's something hidden over here, but let's focus on the storage for now. They're all gonna be identical. And you also have the electric fireplace right over here. Those producing anywhere from five to 10,000 BTUs of heat. However, you can also just turn the heat off if you don't need the heat, maybe just utilize the lights, maybe to help your guests move around the RV. 
I'm also going to try to maybe overlay another video about here showing the new Versa Lounge opened up all the way, showing you exactly how much walk around space you could possibly have. So let's go ahead and make our way to the second bedroom. This is where all the little kids are about to get extremely happy. Take a look at this. I feel like there could be some improvements done with this. That's going to be your second guest bedroom. Believe me, there is room for a full-size adult in here. Check this out. I laid down on the mattress early, earlier. Plenty of room for me. I'm a bigger guy. Plenty of room, though. Lots of storage right over here to your left. You can also get kind of creative with this RV. You can fold this down, maybe for some smaller guests up on the top. But this right over here is going to be a flip-up desk. So maybe you're wanting to use this for an office space. You got the stool, you got your bunks, you got the pretty cool little desk there. It's, it's very nice. I mean, you can have kids doing homework over here, kids loaded out over there. I mean, you sleep four or five people comfortably and you got plenty of seating for everyone on board. I absolutely love the overall design of this. So look at that though. Let's talk about the ventilation in your guest bedroom. So when the model first came out, it really lacked airflow. They were only hoping for like a continuous flow from the air conditioning unit, which is ducked all over here and then making its way down. Your furnace, of course, comes through here, but that's going to be your air conditioning vent for this room. And they got a dimmer switch to turn on the fan to assist with a little bit more airflow, keeping it nice and chill inside of the room though. Let's go ahead and turn that back off and get this secret little room closed up. And that's the additional storage. Very nice. I actually like that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. So on board the coach again, I told you you have two air conditioners. Each one of the thermostats located here in your living room. And this is going to be the smart controller for the solar panel found on the roof. Tank monitoring station. This keeps a look on all your holding tanks. Dimmer switch for all of your lights, plus more additional light switches. Water pump, if you are boondocking, just utilizing the holding tanks on board to get water pressure to your, you know, your bathroom, slide operation, and your awning operation. Let's go ahead and go all the way to the front. So this is nice too. This is a custom 66 by 78 bed. This is the new Versa Tilt though. All the Wildwood models are pretty much being equipped with this feature. The, the head of the bed, it just raises and lowers. I like it, I have the same feature at home. However, there's some changes I like to see. The controls are way over here. So if you're sleeping at night and you wanna lower that down, you're gonna have to get out of bed just to be able to do so. A lot of storage on board. You got wardrobe closets to the left and to the right, and both of these are re equipped with USB and 110 outlets. You've also got more storage over the head of the bed as well as underneath. This is very nice. Look at all that additional walker room you get once that's lifted up. This is going to be the 13.5 air conditioner. It is also duct all the way throughout the dining room, your bathroom, so you can maybe feel a little airflow. TV backer sticker so you can maybe mount a small TV and this was unexpected to me I did not expect to see washer and dryer connections in such a small compact unit very nice to see stackable washer and dryer but man it would be a challenge to get that thing in there let's look at your bathroom look at the little architectural kind of door they've got going on for you pocket door seven foot tall ceilings inside of the rv you got maybe about an eight inch step up to get into the plastic shower you do have the full radius bar at the top though maybe this will help you i'm six foot two gives you a general idea on maybe how much ceiling height you'll have plastic foot flush toilet pretty much a basic standard bathroom vanity with a medicine cabinet and this is the controls this is nice to have this located very close to the shower this is the controls for your on-demand water heater. So if you want maybe 115 or 110 degrees coming out of the shower, just go ahead and set that temperature for your desired temperature and only turn on the hot water coming out of the faucet. So at date and time of making this video, let's look at the price as well as the MSRP. If you want to view more additional photos, there is a link found in my video description that will take you over to our website 
to view more additional photos as well as my contact information. MSRP, maybe you can pause the video here, is going to be $52,255.10 and of course our price can be found at the link found down below. Let's go ahead and transition outside and go over a few things here. So coming at you 34 feet and change, that's total length is this new 2024 Forest River Wildwood 29 view. It is going to be a little bit on the heavier side at a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,400 pounds. And I do believe the dry weight is closer to maybe 81 or 8,200 pounds. I do recommend towing it with at least a three quarter ton because it is on the heavier side. I'll try to leave maybe the hitch weight about here in the video. But I figured we start in the front, make our way down the campsite of the coach, and end the video on this side of the RV here. But if you're not interested in any of this, go ahead and leave me a couple of thumbs up. Like I said, I greatly do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. But you have two 10-pound propane tanks on the front, electric tongue jack, battery disconnect switch is located here, and the battery will be installed once it's actually sold. There is a plastic little battery compartment that actually gets put on there. Diamond plate on the front to assist with some of the maybe road debris that does get kicked up go around to the campsite so the RV is going to be stabilized from two sets of electric scissor jacks each one will have its own independent switch these will only go down to the field maybe about five or ten pounds of pressure before they completely turn themselves off that of course is what they're supposed to do and there's a good shot of your completely enclosed underbelly lipper component friction hinge on your door you got the step above steps. These fold inside the door once you are in transportation. Very nice awning, which is very big, by the way. And the feature I'm about to show you, I think I mainly only see in the Wildwood brand. They give you like this additional bracket. So when the awning is retracted all the way in, just allows it to be a little bit more sturdier because I've seen some of these things while going down the road, those awnings carry a little bit of weight and they will start to bend a little bit in the center outdoor kitchen outdoor speakers i just can't get past all these windows 105 square feet of windows just on the campsite of the rv alone outdoor camp kitchen this does hook directly to the propane tanks on the front of the rv there is a white tag down here identifying the lp quick disconnect ever chill miniature fridge this does not work off the vehicle power while you're in transportation spray port for a little spray nozzle to maybe do a set up a table clean some fish while you're camping that's going to be the on demand 60,000 BTU water heater satellite connections city water connections black tank flush located back here on the back blind side camera prep ladder prep power cord 50 amp power cord about 25 feet will be provided for you sewer connections on board you only gonna have one but this is a good shot of your rack and pinion slide. But one location for all of your sewer, right over here, you got gray and black. And this connection here will be coming directly from the washing machine. So there is no pull handle for the washing machine. If you're washing clothes, be sure you're either, you've got this removed, you're hooked to some sort of gray tank or something because it's if you don't, it's gonna backflow inside of your RV and it's just gonna be lead for a, a very, very bad day pass-through storage underneath the bed held up with magnets I though am extremely impressed it's been a few months since it's been out I'm finally glad to physically have one on location here in Meridian I hope you guys liked it as much as I did continue to like and subscribe come see us